Welcome to AmiPal, the number one place on the internet for the sweetest Amiga content. WHD Load is a fantastic piece of software. I've mentioned it many times on this channel, um, usually with me running games from it. Um, this episode is the five reasons why you need WHD Load. So the first reason, store thousands of games on your hard drive. S is so big that uh, we split it into S to SO and then SP to SY. That's just so it loads a bit quicker really. Um, it's the same on my slower systems, so I just want it to load a bit more quickly. If I go into iGame, we can actually get a uh, count of how many I've got installed on here. So there's quite a few on there. But if we go to show all, you can see the magic number down here, 2,241. And that's, I've culled that list because there's some stuff on there that I'll never play, um, or that I've played and doesn't really deserve to exist. <laughs> um, so yeah, if, if you want three games on there, or if you want thousands, WHD load. And my second reason to have WHD load, load times. Now, Alien Breed Special Edition takes approximately 1 minute 32 seconds to boot from floppy disk. And it would be the same amount of time on the GoTech because that emulates the same timings. Just flick over to the right screen. There we go. Much faster into game. And of course, those load times aren't just at the start of the game, they're throughout it as well. So any kind of slow loading or multiple disk swaps are completely removed. And in we go, and off we play. Third up, no more code wheels, no more entering codes from manuals and delving through them in order to find what we need to set in order just to play the game. Instead, we just go straight in. F18 Interceptor, sorry, FA18 Interceptor, of course. Notorious for that code wheel. For many of us, it was our first entry into flight sims and also our first entry into the damned code wheel. But for this, I don't even need to enter any numbers. Straight in and straight on the deck. When Zool was first released, the A1200 wasn't widely available, and unfortunately, that meant that in order to run it on the A1200, you had to go via the early boot menu, disable CPU caches, and set it up as enhanced chipset for it to run. However, here we are on an Amiga 1200 with Zool playing. That's right, WHD loads games patch issues with older games. And so whereas before you might not have been able to play an older game in your system, now you can. And number five, this is actually the reason why I made the video. Imagine one day you're working away in Workbench and associated programs and applications. For instance, here I am creating the uh, USS Enterprise refit from Star Trek and I've decided that I've had enough of 3D ray tracing and I think yeah I'll just have a quick game of arcade pool. In we go, switch my monitor input And it's another Team 17 game I've gone into. That was completely by accident. 040, pa! Doesn't recognize a 68060. <laughs> That's no fault. And we decide to have a quick game of pool 
just to take my mind off, maybe to allow me to think about where next I'm going to put a primitive or a polygon path object. But then I give up. I give up the game because I've thought about something else and it's still there. Yes, not only does WHD load quit back to Workbench, but it also keeps any programs you've been running in memory, allowing you to go back straight to what you were working on. It's literally magic. Now I've only gone through five reasons why you need it. There are plenty more I'm sure you'll discover. Um, you'll probably have plenty to comment in below as well um, that I completely missed that are even better than the ones I've said. So please do. Um, I think it's an amazing piece of software. Uh, the developers have done superb work with it. I mean, um, the proportion of Amiga games that could be installed to hard disk prior to WHD load were minuscule. Um, and if you had a system that was anywhere past basic, um, then you weren't really guaranteed that anything would run. So fantastic piece of software. Um, donate to them if you can, uh, download it, install it, and enjoy your games. So thanks for watching. Um, hopefully I'll get more content out soon and uh, you can join me here for that. Cheers!